And then he like looked at me a certain way. And then he like grabbed me, oh. spun me, and kissed me. Oh God, so bad, so embarrassing. Rachel Levis recalls her first hookup with Tom Sandoval while his then longtime girlfriend Ariana Maddox was asleep nearby. I mean, I knew it was wrong. Tom knew it was wrong. Rachel sharing her take on her podcast, Rachel Goes Rogue, just ahead of Vanderpump Rules' return for season 11, a season Rachel sat out. Obviously, losing a friend, Rachel, it was tough. Uh, the main reason why I didn't want to be a part of season 11 is because uh, I don't want to be with Tom. And I've made the decision to cut Tom out of my life. And I know I'm on the outskirts with all the other cast. I really believe that the girls wouldn't give me the, the time of day to let me open up. The two of them, they didn't care about me. Every I love you was, uh, was a fake. Every time I thought we were all joking around having fun, it was a fake. Yeah, Rachel's former castmates haven't minced words in the wake of Scandaval. The infamous affair, she says, began after giving Tom a ride home, the one he owns with his now ex. So we get to his house and we're like sitting in my car just chatting for 20 minutes. Then we go to the front door and he's apparently locked out because he left his key in there. Um, and this is the house he lives with Ariana. Yeah, where is she? Correct. Uh, she's sleeping <gasps> upstairs. As Rachel explains, Tom invited her in for a nightcap, which turned into a night swim. And then he like looked at me a certain way. And then he like grabbed me, oh. spun me and kissed me. Oh, God, so bad. So embarrassing. So we go to my car. Well, what happened in there? Did you hook up? Yeah, we did. And oh. Everything? It was very, it was very bad. I mean, I knew it was wrong. Tom knew it was wrong. Just sort of taking things in with a clear head. And while Rachel parted ways with the pump crew after that emotional reunion. This isn't who I want to be. I don't want to be a person that hurts other people. She'll be tuning in for the premiere January 30th. I feel like I'm still in it. Like I, I'm not on the show anymore, but I'm still in the midst of this chaos, this drama. That's Ariana's side. Sandoval's side over here. Don't go over the line. What have you learned in everything you've gone through? Things like this get you to appreciate the small things. Ruin my life, my home, and then f***ing attempt to kill my f***ing dog. Who else will be tuning in? Bravo super fan Jennifer Lawrence. Until Vanderpump comes out, that's all I have to live for. And J-Law, she told E.T. she's not here for a potential Sandoval redemption arc. My lawyer will be dealing with you. I kind of feel like what we're hearing now, that there may be a little bit of a redemption season well, for I him. I don't know. The narcissists, male narcissists are always going to have a redemption period on TV. I don't know. To lose his best friend, his business is up the creek. Everything has gone wrong in his life. I think he's been remarkably resilient. Well, on this season of Band of Pump Rules, you're not always going to see that resilience. You're going to see a lot of vulnerability. That's kind of hard to watch. As for Rachel, she's trading cameras for a microphone as she shares her next chapter in her own words. I would rather speak my truth and share my story and be ridiculed for it than just sit idly by and watch this whole season pan out and not get my story across.